too much even to the legal strategy, but there are a couple things I can go into. And there's been a lot of back and forth between our attorneys and the Maricopa County attorneys. And I do think that we need to be more public about what those things are. We've been trying to be very careful and and I don't want to say play by the rules because the Democrats certainly don't, but trying to follow this process along. But one of the letters that our attorney sent yesterday is something really simple that we'd like to know. Why is it that we we start early voting on October 12th? And why did zero percent of the voting centers encounter tabulation problems during early voting when we know the Democrats were all heavily voting? And why did that number then jump up to 48 percent of voting centers encounter tabulation, tabulation problems on election day when voters voted for Carrie Lake three to one? Basic things like that are being put in writing. We're sending them to Maricopa County. Shocker, they're not answering them. But these are things that if, you know, certain things end up going to litigation, I think there's a lot of people who would like to know this because I would like to know. I think that is absolutely outrageous. And and it's it's either total incompetence or it's malice. And I, I think that's that's what we're going to try to find out. Carrie Lake is a fighter. Her whole um, campaign is a, is a fighter's campaign. Is uh, I take it you guys are doing the work, you're getting the data, you just don't want to be flailing around. But I would assume that given what you're telling me, that the people, her supporters and her opponents are going to see something a little more aggressive uh, shortly. I guess, I mean, we, see, we both are also, the courts aren't on our side. Like, Reiner, Carrie Lake sued to get rid of these tabulation machines six months ago, and the court told her she didn't have standing. Like, if Carrie Lake didn't have standing, I mean, who does? And sure enough, like they all said that we're crazy and we're conspiracy theorists and the judge threw it out. Kelly Ward was yelling at everyone for months about tonering and they called her a crazy conspiracy theorist. And here we are. 48 percent of the tabulation centers went down on Election Day due to toter ink and other printer malfaction issues. This is something that we sued about six months ago, something we yelled at everyone about. So, you know, we can take these things to court. But like at some point, we're just. You're, yeah, I, 